Hello learners, this is self Tuts and we are continuing with our journey for, for Vagrant for be Beginners. So till now we have seen that how to install a Vagrant machine using the VirtualBox provider in it and we have successfully done it uh, and after the installation of Vagrant and VirtualBox we got a command line tool and that command line tool is called Vagrant. Now in this video we'll learn about boxes what are boxes in vagrant so vagrant follow the concept of boxes boxes are base images which is used to clone virtual machine so what happens every virtual machine that we create in vagrant is created through boxes so we download a single box from somewhere i'll tell you later from where we download that so we download a single box from somewhere and we can create multiple virtual machines through it suppose I I downloaded a box which is related to Ubuntu so what happens I have a single box of Ubuntu and from that I can create multiple virtual machines for Ubuntu so in vagrant a box has two things mainly for now one is the username and one is the name of the box so every box is designated or is related to some user the user that has created it it can it may be a individual person or it may be a company so every box has two things in it one is the username and another is the box name so let's see some very famous boxes which are present in vagrant one of the most famous box that is present is ubuntu and it is called by ubuntu and it is called trusty 64 so this is a box that is that can create ubuntu related virtual machine so we will download this box and this box will create a ubuntu virtual machine Mean means we can run a ubuntu virtual machine through it and from this single box we can run multiple ubuntu virtual machine same way there is a box which is created by the company centos and the name is seven same way the company name is hashicorp and the name of the box is called precise 64 when you will go through so many blogs on internet uh, i think that you must have come with this name hashicorp precise 64 because in all blogs and most of the video tutorials they first teach how to download this but will not download this it is a very big uh, box to download it will take so much time so now the question that has been coming in your mind from where i can get some boxes it's a genuine question from your side that how to get these boxes and how to create virtual machines through it so vagrant the first thing that you should know that vagrant is uh, created by the company called hashicorp so they have also created a website where you can search for boxes and where you can download boxes so we have been given a command line tool and that command line tool is called vagrant so in the command line tool we can fire some command and add a new box by using the username and box name first let's come to see how this box how we can see these boxes and how to get some boxes which are for our need so i'll click on this link and it will open the link in my browser and will go to this link so this is the website where you can see most of the boxes for vagrant you can create your own boxes you can create a uh, you can store it in your file somewhere else but most of the boxes that we download for vagrant is hosted on this atlas hashicorp.com so suppose you want to want to create a virtual machine related to ubuntu so you get a box name that is trusty 64 by the company or by the user ubuntu suppose you want a centos machine you want to create a uh, virtual machine of CentOS so we'll search it and we'll get CentOS 7 so I think this is the official uh, box that has been created by the company CentOS and some person like Bento has created CentOS 6.7 then this Puppet has created CentOS 6 by something so you can create your boxes by you have to sign in there you have to create an account we'll see it later on but anyone can create a box and push to this atlas hashicorp.com now 
uh, why these boxes are important suppose you are doing a development in your company and uh, the requirement for the development of software is uh, you need uh, to download say git means uh, you have the need uh, you are using a versioning system and that is git uh, you also need node.js so what you can create you can cre you can take a base image base box you can uh, put this softwares inside that and you can share that box with someone else so every time in your team if you want to share that box you can easily share it to other person and when they when they will download it they will get the uh, software like git and node.js by default so this is the importance of the box you can make your own boxes you can take a base box you can add new things to it and you can create your own box so uh, as you have seen how to add a new box so we can add a new box through command line by using vagrant box add username and the box name then how to see the list of downloaded box so you can s again use the command line tool that is vagrant box list and how to remove a box vagrant box remove username so we'll try to download a very small box which has a very small footprint means very small in size and we'll see how to uh, use this command for our need so you uh, we can copy it i think okay uh, we'll see here we will type the name here only so uh, we have the command line tool that is called vagrant and vagrant box add and we can get the name as all that slash tiny core micro so this is the command uh, which we can fire and we can download the box so see what happens now you can see on the screen first what does the vagrant do it tries to find this box locally is the box available locally so if the box is available locally then it will see what is the version of that box if that version of the box uh, has say suppose a version 1 but on the atlas website the version has become 2 so it will try uh, try to give a message to you that you need to update your box or something like that so what it does you can see you it is loading the metadata all by tiny core and then it is going to the url atlashasikov.com all by slash tiny core micro so it is trying to download the box from there so uh, it is downloading the box and it is saying that the box has been successfully downloaded and the version number is version 0 .0 0 .1, 0 0.0.1.0 so we have successfully downloaded a box now what we want to see what are the boxes that are present inside our host system or windows system what we have already downloaded so we can again fire the command vagrant box list so what it does it searches through the entire uh, operating system and finds what what are the boxes that are present so previously i have downloaded say ubuntu 64 ubuntu trusty 64 and they sent to us 7 i was using box cutter and see what we have downloaded it is present here means the current box that we have downloaded it is present here now we can create virtual machines through it we can create multiple virtual machines through it but we'll create that later on let's go to the next command and that is called how to remove a virtual box so this box is not of much importance i have only shown this uh, uh, I, I have downloaded this box just to show you how to add a box to your uh, host machine now what we'll do we'll try to remove it so we try we, we type vagrant box remove and then we'll just copy this name from here and we'll insert it we'll run the command so what happens it rem it says removing box this and it has removed it now again we want to see what box list are present so see this time the box all but tiny core micro has been removed from our local system if we need we can again download it and uh, we can use it so this is how uh, vagrant create downloads different boxes and creates new virtual machine till now we have not created virtual machines through it 
but we have downloaded the boxes we have seen from where the box are getting downloaded how to search for the boxes so this is the website from where you can search for the boxes you can download for the box like a box for digital ocean a box for uh, amazon web services uh, there can be docker uh, boxes so there are so many uh, boxes present here and you can download any one of them so this was all about vagrant boxes uh, if you like my video please subscribe to my channel and give give me a thumbs up uh, thank you all of you